Hi folks and welcome to the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. Dave Winder with you in the Gene Ray Practice Center for Murray State Basketball, a place that just opened a few weeks ago. Uh, usually Head Coach Steve Prohm is with me here as we tape our show, but he's on the road recruiting for the Racers. And that is going to give us a chance today to sit down with the five main seniors of the Murray State Senior Class. Of course, we talked a lot about Jordan Burge last week, the walk-on from Mayfield, Kentucky. But the other five seniors, uh, we'll get a chance to visit with them today. But before we do that, let's just kind of get you caught up on where the racers are right now. Last weekend was the OVC tournament in Nashville, Tennessee. And on Friday, the racers played a semifinal game against Eastern Kentucky, a team that they had lost to earlier. The game was tied 38-38 at the half. And then down the stretch, uh, the racers uh, really put together a great run at about the midway part of the second half and got some separation. They actually built, uh, I think it was an 11 point lead, was their largest lead. And then they just kind of held on at the end, uh, making some key free throws and winning it by the score of 81 to 73 as uh, Isaiah Cannon had 29 points for the racers. Stacy Wilson added 17. He was six out of 10 from the field. And Brandon Garrett uh, uh, had an 11 point, six rebound game. This was a game where uh, Ed Daniel was in some foul trouble and Latrez Muschat came off the bench and got five points and six rebounds for the racers. So that put Murray State into uh, the OVC championship game. And that was on Saturday evening in Nashville as the racers took on the Belmont Bruins. Uh, Murray State led it, or trailed rather, by a point at the half, 22-21. And again, in the second half, it was a 16-2 run as the racers seemingly got control of this game. But it was answered by a big run by Belmont. And then down the stretch, the racers missed some key free throws. The game eventually went into overtime. It shouldn't have gone to overtime, but it did. And then in the OT, the, the racers just could not come up with the plays that they needed. And uh, they lost it by the score of 70 to 68 in overtime. Uh, in that game, Isaiah Cannon had 22 points and a career high 10 assists. And he was only one rebound away from a triple double. Stacy Wilson led the racers with 23 points and five rebounds as the racers are 21 and 10. And as we tape the show this week, uh, they're waiting to see if possibly an NIT bid uh, is coming after the weekend, after Selection Sunday on uh, this Sunday for the NCAA tournament, and we'll see if the racers uh, do indeed uh, play some more basketball. So uh, we're here today with our senior class, and very quickly, let's just show you um, what this senior class has done. We've mentioned before, 106 wins uh, is a record, and you just see what the racers did. 09-10, 17-1 in the OVC, went to the NCAA tournament. 2010-11, won another conference title, went to the NIT, and then last season was the big 31 and 2 or 30 31 and 2 season, uh, the first place in the regular season and the tournament, won a game in the NCAA tournament, and then this season uh, another 20 win season, which is a four in a row for the racers, as this great senior class has given us uh, all kinds of, of memories. So we're going to take our first break here in the Racer Report, and when we come back, we'll visit with the great Isaiah Cannon next. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. I'm not that drunk. My house is only down the street. I'm the most sober one here. I only have one drink. According to studies, 25% of 21-year-old college students have admitted to drinking and driving. Almost every 90 seconds, someone is injured. Every day, 28 people die as a result of drunk driving. Don't be selfish. Don't be a statistic. Don't drink and drive. 
That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max, you can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. Coach is on the road recruiting this week so we are taking this time to visit with our great class of Murray State seniors. We're going to start with Isaiah Cannon, senior from Biloxi, Mississippi. And uh, Isaiah, we were just kind of uh, just taking a look at uh, all the top ten lists that, that you're in and uh, we may uh, put some of those up here while we're talking. But uh, you ever had a chance to just maybe think back to uh, how far you've come uh, since your freshman season and all the games you've gotten to play in? Uh, not really uh, during the season, but um, sometime in the off season, just um, go back on the past season, just see what all was accomplished and what wasn't accomplished. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an honor just to be able to be in, be in all, all those lists of, with all the great players that have been through here. And, um, it's hard to, to, to get in those rankings wherever you play at. So uh, I'm just uh, blessed and thankful. Uh, in your time here at Murray State, uh, if you go back to when you, uh, you came out of your hometown in Biloxi and you, you came to Murray State, did, did you realize uh, you know, what an impact that decision was going to have on your life? Uh, I didn't realize what impact it was going to have, but um, I knew I had some, some goals that I wanted to achieve. and uh, The biggest thing was just to go somewhere and, and win. Uh, I won all in high school and I didn't want it to stop once I left. So um, that was the main factor for me, just to go somewhere that, that I could be still called a winner and, and wanted to be able to win some games in college. Well, I mean, you, we, we saw in the first segment, I, I put up, uh, you know, the, the career in the last four years, uh, uh, two NCAA trips, an NIT trip, maybe more to come as we, as we have sit here today, the rest of the season hasn't been decided yet. Uh, 106 wins, uh, I mean, that is just, uh, the most successful time in the history of 88 years of basketball here. Oh yeah, it was. It's been amazing uh, these past four years, and uh, like you say, we we we'll wait to see if uh, we shall continue and continue. And um, the the last four years, I, I wouldn't want to uh, do it any other place or uh, play with any other guys. And uh, it's, it's been fun, and uh, met a lot of new people, and um, a lot of great teammates, and. Uh, like I say, played a lot of great teams. Yeah, and uh, once you're a racer, you're a racer for life, so you'll always, you'll always be a racer. <laughs> That's uh, always. Uh, one thing, I, you know, I, I, at the beginning of the season, I thought, you know, at some point we'll do an interview with the seniors. Uh, but right now, I get, we're going to show that, uh, that shot you made as a freshman, that, the half court from your knees. <laughs> it's been viewed over 2.2 million times uh, on YouTube. All right. Uh, I'm sure this is maybe the 2.2 millionth time somebody's asked you about it. <laughs> yeah, but, it was you know, cool. here we go. I mean, gosh. Hey, it was crazy, <laughs> um, man. I was just—you were mad you were going to turn it over. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was looking for somebody to pass it to, and uh, then I ended up losing the ball at the end of the shot clock, and uh -huh. uh, saved it from going backcourt, and didn't have nobody to pass it to. So my only two options was to, to either call a timeout or, or shoot it, and I don't know what gave me uh, the option to shoot it, and. I just let it go, and uh, let, there you go. You make a shot off your knees from half court. You'll never think about doing that ever in, in your career, or uh, besides if you're just playing in the backyard. Uh -huh. I did it in an actual game, so um, it was it's like, always a moment. It was like remember. a shot from a horse game if you're out, <laughs> if you're out just, just playing horse. Well, uh, Isaiah, I wish we had more time, and maybe before the season's over we'll sit down again, but uh, uh, we've, got, we've got to take a break here. Good luck. If, if there is basketball still left for the racers, I know you're going to be ready for it. Oh, yeah, I play 100%, uh, however many more games we got. Okay, Isaiah Cannon for Bluxy, Mississippi. We'll take another break, come back with Ed Daniel. We'll do that next on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? 
I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max, you can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? I'm not that drunk. My house is only down the street. I'm the most sober one here. I only have one drink. According to studies, 25% of 21-year-old college students have admitted to drinking and driving. Almost every 90 seconds, someone is injured. Every day, 28 people die as a result of drunk driving. Don't be selfish. Don't be a statistic. Don't drink and drive. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Race Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. We told you there in the first segment, Coach Prohm is on the road recruiting. So this week, we thought we would just sit down with these great racer seniors, and uh, now it's time to uh, visit with Ed Daniel from Birmingham, Alabama. Ed, appreciate you, uh, you stopping by. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to uh, spend a few minutes here while, while we still have a chance to uh, just talk about your career at Murray State. And uh, did you ever think about... Uh, you know how far you've come since uh, 2009 when you walked on campus as a as a freshman, green freshman. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it just feel like it went by so fast. Uh, but yeah, I can remember just coming here as a freshman and not knowing the road of things and having all my seniors pick me up and learn from them what goes what goes around around the college town. So now I'm just doing the same thing that my seniors did for me. Yeah, uh, you, you kind of took to the leadership role. Uh, you like being a leader? Um, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's some um, yes and no's for it, though. <laughs> um, you take a lot of um, a lot of fall for everything that, you, that, that you're supposed to for a team captain. Um, and just being responsible for all the freshmen and all the younger dudes and getting them up to par of the game and everything. So it's some goods and, and bads on it. You know, uh, Ed Daniel, to, to my recollection, uh, is probably, maybe, the only recruit after you signed at Murray State that has come to Murray during his senior year in high school uh, and played basketball. And when Ed was a senior at Woodlawn in Birmingham, he had signed with Murray State and then he came and you guys played in the uh, Callaway County High School Christmas Tournament. Do you remember that very often? Yeah. Um my first time coming, well, not my first time coming up here, but really actually my second time coming up here and played up you here. you came on your visit. Yeah, I came up, yeah. <laughs> so we came up here and played, uh, played in the tournament. Uh -huh. um, it was a good tournament. We played Callaway for the championship game. We beat them, um, but it was just good at being up here playing, playing in front of the people who I was going to play, play with next year. Uh, Ed Daniel right now uh, has 156 career blocks. It's just four away from Cuthbert Victor's program record of 160 blocks. And uh, hopefully more basketball to be played for the racers as we sit here today. Uh, that's still uh, to be determined. But, uh, you know, one thing, Ed, uh, uh, ask the rest of the guys this too, 106 wins. Uh, you think it'll maybe be years later that'll sink in and just go, wow, that, that's a lot of wins for one college career. Yeah. Um it's not it's not as easy to get all those wins. Um, it's, <laughs> sure it's hard to it's hard to come out with a win. So um, when you get 160 plus plus career games that you're on one, um, it's a blessing. Okay, well let's also talk about uh, this thing that happened last year, 31 and two season. Uh, and the the other thing that happened, there was this uh, what do, what do you call it? Kind of a cult figure that that came along, and that was your hair. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, you, you kind of embraced it, and so did Coach Prom. Um, I just felt like I needed to do something different with my hair. <laughs> um, I didn't know what route I was going in at first, but um, the fans started to 
started to like to throw things. So I just kept kept up with it for the fans. Well, it's been fun. I mean, I just thought it was a neat thing, and the fans have enjoyed it. Uh, Twitter account and a Facebook account for Ed's hair, as you all know. But, uh, but anyway, I uh, wish we had more time, but we have to uh, take a break here. Ed, thanks a lot. Man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Great career at Murray State. Ed Daniel from Murray State will take another break and come back with more Racer Seniors next on the Racer Report. I'm not that drunk. My house is only down the street. I'm the most sober one here. I only have one drink. According to studies, 25% of 21-year-old college students have admitted to drinking and driving. Almost every 90 seconds, someone is injured. Every day, 28 people die as a result of drunk driving. Don't be selfish. Don't be a statistic. Don't drink and drive. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max, you can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Yeah! Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Hi, folks, and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm. Coach is away this week, which has given us a great chance to visit with the Murray State Senior Class of 2013. And now we're with Stacy Wilson, senior from Mullen, South Carolina. And uh, i got to tell you, uh, Stacy and I really got to know each other this, this year, got to, to see his uh, sense of humor, and uh, we've really gotten along very well this year. And, uh, Stacy, uh, from the Sports Information Director to one of the seniors, I just got to compliment you on the way you carried yourself this season, you were put into a leadership role, and I thought you you really embraced that and, and did a good job. And uh, I, I know uh, uh, your time here was short. Did it, did it go by fast for you? Um, yeah, it went by very fast. But first off, I'm blessed to be here. Came to Murray State um, from Coffeyville Junior College, and I had a great two years, you know. I don't think about it winning with us. I had a better two years here than I had here. But I'm very extremely blessed to be here. Um, you know, when you come to Murray State, uh, the, the student athletes uh, uh, get the good taste of uh, the relationship between the, the, the fans and the players. And uh, it would, you'd be hard pressed to find another place where it's as close as it is, as it is here. Tell me a little bit about uh, your experience uh, with, with the great fans that Murray State has. Um, they got a tremendous fan base. Um, the fans really care about you, you know, after the game, they're always there, you know, they make the long road trips that, you know, you usually don't see at any other school, but the fans are extremely great, you know, they're a great place to play basketball, and they really care about their basketball program, and that made an important decision for me to come here and play basketball. Yeah, well, t tell us, uh, take us back to a little bit, uh, you're, you're at Coffeyville Junior College out in Coffeyville Kansas, mm -hmm. and uh, tell us about how you, you uh, Murray State got on your radar, and why you chose Murray State. Um, we had a great season um, in Coverville and um, had a couple of schools I was interested in, but I didn't know where I was playing at the time. So I just wanted to wait until after the season. And once after the season, I decided to come here. But Murray State, they've, they've been talking to me all season long when I was at Coverville. So, and they stayed true to their word. So I just wanted to come here and play and be part of something great. That what we was when I came here. Yeah, you, you certainly are. Uh, we, we've talked about on, on the show here, um, the, the four-year senior class uh, has the record 106 wins. Uh, but you've had a hand in uh, 52 of those wins, uh, 52 wins for two seasons. That's that's not shabby either. <laughs> no, that's, that's, it's, it's, it's always great to accomplish anything. You know, you can come here two years, whether three years. You know, I'm, I'm great. I'm blessed to accomplish 52 wins. You know, it's very hard to win in college basketball, so I'm thankful for that. 
uh, you know, the, uh, the, the OVC tournament didn't go quite the way the racers wanted to last weekend. And as we uh, tape the show here today in the brand new practice facility that the racers have, um, it's still to be determined if the racers are going to have some, some more basketball to play. I know you guys want to play, though, don't you? Yeah, um, you know, it's always a great opportunity. You know, we didn't end the season like we wanted to, but, you know, God give us another chance. And I'm pretty sure, you know, we get another chance to play. Everybody wanting to play just to go out there and just compete and play our hearts out again. It's yeah, I, I think you'll, you'll probably get a chance uh, to play in, in some type of postseason tournament. Uh, we've got to go here in just a minute, Stacy, but uh, kind of take our fans through what it means to play for Murray State uh, and, and how you're going to take this with you wherever you go from here. Um, just a tradition of toughness, um, pride, um, accountability they hold you for. You know, I'm gonna take it everywhere I go. You know, whether I, whether whether I'm playing professionally or not, or whether it's in life, whatever I decide to do, you know, I'm always work hard and do the, go 100 percent at whatever I want to do. And that's hopefully playing somewhere. You know, I haven't made my mind right now, but hopefully, you know, um, we, we play in the postseason. You know, just get some more exposure as Murray State basketball. And I just want to go out there and compete at the highest level I can. Uh, physical education major. Uh, you want to coach? Yeah, I, I, I think I need something to coach. Okay. Yeah, you know, just just to help somebody out, no matter what level. You know, just always help somebody out if I can. All right, Stacy, uh, Stacy Wilson, Mullen, South Carolina. Appreciate him stopping by. We'll take another break and come back with more of the Racer Seniors next on the Racer Report. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. I'm not that drunk. My house is only down the street. I'm the most sober one here. I only have one drink. According to studies, 25% of 21-year-old college students have admitted to drinking and driving. Almost every 90 seconds, someone is injured. Every day, 28 people die as a result of drunk driving. Don't be selfish. Don't be a statistic. Don't drink and drive. That's the worst half of football I've ever seen. Are you telling me we can't do this? I got this, coach. You know, people said, Pepsi Max? You can't get maximum Pepsi taste with zero calories. Who said that? But Pepsi Max didn't listen. We just delivered it. So get out there and taste that sweet zero calorie victory. The little guy's right. Yeah! Pepsi Max, zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. Do you validate parking? Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers. The best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers. Service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers. Two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers. Proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks and welcome back to the uh, final segment of this week's Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm as we continue our senior visit with Latrez Mushat from Saginaw, Michigan. Uh, folks remember, uh, I believe it was July 10th last yeah. summer, Latrez suffered a, a torn Achilles, atten Achilles uh, tendon, had surgery a couple days later, yet here he is, uh, I think you've played in the last uh, 12 games. Yeah, probably uh, 12. Tell, tell the fans, how, how, how did you recover from that? Mentally and physically, um, I just—it was just hard work. It was determination. Um, I wanted to be out there with my teammates. Senior year, you know, um, I just um, kept praying, you know, had faith, and kept believing that I'd be able to be on the floor. And um, just one day, it was my time to be out there. Mm -hmm. uh, can you sum up your time here at Murray State? Uh, you transferred from Missouri, Kansas City. Uh, a decision that uh, really impacted your life to come to Murray State. Oh yeah, um, I, it was a great decision. You know, um, I wouldn't change it. I had a great time here. I love the fans. I love you know the citizens. Um, I, I wouldn't change it for nothing. I had a great time. Met a lot of new people, and um, hopefully, you know, everyone will still be in my life when I leave Murray State. Well, I could tell you uh, for sure. Once you leave Murray State, once a racer, always a racer. 
but but you know it all it all must come to an end sometime and it, yes, it when you go into your senior year you, you you're thinking about that yours was different because you weren't yet back yeah. uh, but here in the last month or so have you, have you thought about hey my my days to practice are numbered and I've only got four games left etc oh yeah I thought about that once I got injured you know my days are numbered they're coming down um, you know you no matter how hard I worked, I still, you know, still kind of doubt myself. Hopefully I'll be back on the floor. You know, it, it was four games. You know, I just wanted to be on the floor at least one time. And, uh, it was a blessing to be out there. And, you know, I wouldn't look back and regret anything here. And uh, I had a great time, you know, putting on that jersey, you know, and playing in front of the fans. Yeah, it's it's a special thing, Murray State basketball. Well, Trez, uh, before we leave you, uh, uh, we talked about the uh, – the 106 wins for the four-year seniors. You, you've got 52 in two years. Uh, you ever think about that? No, nah, nah, I really never paid attention to it. Um, hopefully, that's a that's a nice record to be uh, uh -huh. two years. Um, we did it. It was a great job. You know, we did a great job last year. This year, a little up and down, but we still had a winning season. And, um, it was, you know, it didn't end well, but you know, I had a great time. All right, man. Right. Trez Muschiat, thank you, sir. Yep. Good catching up with him. And before we leave you here, we're going to go back to uh, an interview we also taped with uh, uh, Brandon Garrett. And here's that segment as we visit with our final Racer Senior of the Day. And now with Brandon Garrett, a senior from Phoenix, Arizona, here on the Racer Report. And uh, uh, Brandon, you're kind of the last in the list here. And we, <laughs> we, we've talked to uh, the other guys about, you know, the 106 wins uh, for the four-year players. And you know, uh, Latrez just commented a minute ago, uh, 52 wins uh, in the last two years. And I think your three-year record, 72 or 73, yeah. one of the two. I, I can't do the math just right off the top of my head. But, uh, you know, uh, when you came here, uh, you knew you were going to be part of a pretty special program. And it's kind of bared itself out, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Uh, going into my three years here, I just knew this is the right place for me. Take us back to your, you're at uh, Indian Hills Community College up in Iowa, uh, how it all came about and how you, how you wound up at Murray State. Uh, Isaac Chu actually started recruiting me from an uh, All-American Juco Jamboree uh, earlier that summer and he, he was the best recruiter. He kept up with me the most, came out to the most games and I just felt comfortable with that relationship I developed with. Coach Chu, and when I got here and met the coaching staff and the players that I'll be p continuing to play with, I felt like this was a great place for me. Yeah, well, Coach Chu, of course, uh, at Marquette now as an assistant. Um, but but when you get here, how long did it take you to figure out? Wow, this this is uh, this is a pretty special place. Uh, uh, not, <laughs> there's probably no other team in America that has the the relationship with their fans that the Murray State players have. Yeah, when I first got here, I came on Selection Sunday weekend, so uh -huh. you know. They took me through when I first got here. First, first place we came into was here, the CFSB Center, uh -huh. and I seen all those banners. And uh, going through Selection Sunday, that was just a great experience. I even signed some autographs on our crew <laughs> visit on some of the balls and things. So, uh, yeah, um, just going into meeting the, my uh, fellow teammates that's uh -huh. that's been here with me these past three years. Uh, I just know this is the place. Let's talk about your teammates. Uh, friends for life, aren't they? Correct, man. Uh, I mean, I, I be around Ed the most, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> just going through daily life with, with them is, is, is going to be missed. It's yeah, going to well, be missed. Well, I can tell you, uh, as a guy who was a student athlete one time, I, I can not speak to some of my former teammates for years. And when you see them, it's like you just pick right back up uh, <laughs> where, where you left off. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the way it's going to be. Once you're... Uh, once your teammates with somebody, you, you share that bond, and you'll, that, that bond will never be broken. And I can tell you, Brandon, that uh, you'll always be a racer here, and the fans will always remember you. So I appreciate you stopping by, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, Brandon Garrett. Uh, and uh, that, that's all the time we have this week uh, for uh, the Racer Report. Maybe you can look in the camera and say, we'll be back next week with Coach Prone. Uh, we'll be back next week with Coach Prone <laughs> on the Racer Report. Okay, we'll see you next time.